Good day, hi and welcome. All right, so I talked about when evil Manitoba maple stumplings wear body armor and how to properly dull a chainsaw in the last video. Uh, but loose chains, uh, I saw somebody else had made a video on this and I thought I'd make my own video on this for my, you know, subscribers and stuff like that. You notice I got a loose chain on here. Okay, so what I do normally is I'll tighten up to that chain so it's, you know, like, you know, just a little bit of play at the at the tight spot. Every chain, regardless if it's a motorcycle chain, a bicycle chain, a, a V-belt, whatever, anything like that will always run really tight at one spot. And when it's this loose, you can't tell. But when you start to tighten up on it, like, that's probably around the tight spot right there where there's the least amount of slack, right? So if I go here, there's a little bit more slack in that but you'll feel like one spot in the chain where it's a little bit tight so adjust from there because what happens if you adjust it at the loose spot that tight spot will be really tight right but here's the other thing now once when the saw is cold like this adjust your chain right and get it you know i usually get it so that it just sits snugly in there uh the whole way around uh and whatever and at the tight spot it's not too too tight and then you start cutting and after a while what happens is the heat stretches your chain right that's normal but then what you do is while the saw is still hot is you adjust it again and then you let it cool now you do, you finish your cutting and it looks like a normal tightened chain and everything like that it'll be it'll be uniform like that but then what happens is when that chain cools it gets really really tight and that will in turn Put more tension on your clutch and the, the the crankshaft and all that stuff when it's cool so what a lot of people maybe not a lot of people what i've seen some people do is when they're done with their saw they just crack the nut uh and it takes two seconds to you know adjust the chain anyway uh so they crack the nut just let it slack so when it does cool down and the chain, chain starts to shrink again it's not too much tension on your pulley and stuff like that so Will I give you a lot extra life out of the saw? You know, the, the, the crankshaft and all that stuff? Don't know, but uh, I don't think it can hurt. And it might actually save your chain from really stretching. You know what I mean? Because like I say, when that chain is cold, it's gonna shrink up. So if it's like this when it's cold and you tighten it to proper, and then it heats up and it starts to sag a bit, that's fine. But then if you tighten it again, when it goes to cold or cool down, uh, it's going to be really, 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 really tight. And like I say, it's more, more tension on your, uh, loud bikes. Uh, it's going to be more tension on your, um, you know, internals on your saw. So just a little tip there. Don't know if that's a great tip, but it's just something, just something. All right, there we go.